Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Clan. Today we'll be talking about massive news of the Federal Reserve potentially being set to use XLM. And we'll also be talking about a recently uploaded video featuring BitBoy where he discusses how he sees XLM token holders potentially becoming millionaires in the future. So in a relatively recent video uploaded by BitBoy on his YouTube channel, he discusses a number of topics surrounding XLM and Stella, and he also details the number of routes and his predictions regarding how XLM token holders could become millionaires in the future. Let's imagine that Stella is able to return to its previous all-time high of 94 cents in the next bull run. If you wanted to become a Stellar millionaire, you need to hold just over a million XLM, which will cost you a little over 100k at current prices. If you're a stellar bull, then these estimates might be a bit too conservative for your tastes. So let's turn on the thrusters a bit. It's not a great sign that XLM never revisited its all-time high in the last bull market, but there has been developments that could make it much stronger in the next cycle. Stellar has partnered with the massive fintech company MoneyGram to help them with their cross-border payment solutions. Hmm, that sounds like a familiar partnership if you're in the XRP army. In addition to funding development on Stellar, MoneyGram also uses Stellar blockchain to help users easily trade their local currency for USDC. Last month, Stellar announced a new integration with Franklin on-chain U.S. government money fund, a massive U.S. registered fund with over $270 million in assets under management. The fund will be using the Stellar blockchain to maintain official records of the ownership of shares in the fund. Stellar says that it is the first public blockchain to host this kind of service for a U.S. registered fund. If these bullish catalysts stack up, it could actually be possible for Stellar to far exceed its previous all-time high and reach as high as $1 or $2 or even higher. But we would need to see a mega rally in the entire crypto market for something like this to happen. And of course, a special thanks to our sponsor Stake for sponsoring this video and our entire channel. We love them. Okay, back to it. Let's say that Stellar manages to double its all-time high, reaching $2. If that happened, you'll need 500,000 XLM to become a millionaire. To switch back about $50,000 at today's prices, maybe that's not enough for you. Maybe you're a mega Stellar bull, and you think that it could get as high as $5 per XLM. In this case, you'd only need 200,000 XLM, costing you $20,000 at today's prices. Realistically though, I'm not confident that we'll see prices this high in the next few years. I remember how high we thought things were gonna blast off to during the last cycle and it ended up being a bit tamer than we expected to say the least. So I'm keeping that in mind for my predictions this time around. The average person doesn't have tens of thousands of dollars sitting around, but even if you're on a budget like most retail investors, you can still put smaller amounts of money in and see bigger returns. So let's say you can only put in $1,000 at current prices. This will give you around 10,000 XLM. If Stellar does reach a $2 mark, that's a potential $20,000 return on your investment. Not quite a million, but still not bad and potentially life-changing for some people. So as well as BitBoy detailing to the benefits and the potential significant returns XLM token holders may receive over the long run, there's also been a number of exciting stories over the last few weeks, which could see significant increases to the price of XLM, not only over the long run, but potentially over the next few weeks. A Federal Reserve publication stated that both XRP and XLM may be used to facilitate blockchain aspects of their FedNow payment system. So the Federal Reserve has a partnership with Metal Blockchain for quick fiat and stablecoin conversion marks a major milestone in bridging the barrier between conventional banking and decentralized finance. So within this partnership, there's been echoes of the potential utility of a, rip, a prominent provider of cross-border payments and open source DLT technology for financial transactions may be included among the financial companies that FedNow will utilize. Additionally, Stellar Lumens XLM, a blockchain-based payment network that offers a quicker and more effective method for executing global payments, may also be among the companies that FedNow will use. So the potential utility of both XRP and XLM could be huge and significant for both projects, as the utility of both XRP and XLM into FedNow will see the direct usage of both cryptocurrencies to verify transactions which occur between financial bodies which include banks, the major banks within the US and large financial bodies present within the US too. So when transactions are occurring between such bodies and companies, XLM or XRP will be used as a means of validating such transactions. So in the case of XLM, if XLM is at the center of the conversion and the verification of transactions between financial bodies through the utility of FedNow, XLM, the demand for XLM will increase. So this could see 
sizable increases to the price of XLM, especially over the long run, and as the utility of FedNow increases over time. But again, this isn't set in stone as of yet. We'll have to wait for further news in regards to whether XLM will be directly integrated into this financial infrastructure, but extremely exciting all around for XLM token holders and even XRP token holders. So the main reason as to why the Federal Reserve may have looked to these two projects is mainly due to the benefits both XLM and XRP possess, most notably their scalability, their cost effectiveness, and their ability to verify transactions a lot more seamlessly compared to traditional financial infrastructure. And another reason as to why the Fed may have chosen XLM and XRP over other cryptocurrencies to act as a middleman in verifying transactions within the FedNow system protocol is due to both XLM and XRP already having a background and expertise in cross-border payments in varying countries. So again, FedNow is set to be a instantaneous payment system protocol which will be accessible for both individuals, businesses and financial bodies including banks where the direct usage of FedNow will be will enable instantaneous transactions to emerge without excessive costs and this will be extremely beneficial as transactions will occur a lot faster and this will be beneficial for the whole economy within the US. So FedNow is actually set to be rolled out over the next potentially few weeks where the Federal Reserve set a target of the release of FedNow between May and July 2023. So we could potentially see the rolling out of FedNow over the next few weeks or even days. So extremely exciting. And again, it's not set in stone whether XLM will be using this development. But if XLM is used in this initiative, it will be extremely exciting and bullish where again, XLM will be at the center of verifying such transactions and the demand for XLM will increase. And in turn, potentially, especially over the long run, the price of XLM may see synonymous increases. So as mentioned before, over 10,000 banks and financial bodies are set to incorporate FedNav's infrastructure into their underlying protocol. If XLM is directly incorporated into FedNav's system protocol, this could see a number of financial bodies directly using XLM, and this will put XLM ahead over the vast majority of its competitors, as the vast majority of other crypto projects on the marketplace have hardly any utility and aren't really used in any worldwide or nationwide payment infrastructure. So XLM will put itself ahead over the vast majority of other projects on the marketplace. And this isn't the only story surrounding XLM, where XLM is also being used for other financial developments. Most notably, XLM is set to be at the center of development surrounding a Ukrainian CBDC, where the Stellar Foundation is in direct partnership and is actively collaborating with the Ukrainian government and central bank to manufacture and design a CBDC, which will improve financial activities and financial services across the wider Ukrainian marketplace and economy. What are your thoughts on Stellar? Do you think XLM holders will see significant returns over the long run? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching Crypto Clan. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.